Hello there everyone, this is Seb and welcome to Let's All Play in the Battle of Olympus on NES. I'll be your guide through this fun, although sometimes rather challenging game and alongside there will be a whole bunch of YouTubers who are kind enough to voice in all of the NPCs that we will encounter, which will be quite a lot. I heard that the Staff of Fennel is in Attica. That sounds awesome, as we heard previously it can shoot fire, so that sounds like something we want. Over here we find another temple, so that means another god. Who do we meet? Welcome Xenos, I am Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. I'll give you a shield to protect you from the attack of monsters. Sweet, they'll show those annoying spare bears. And we see we've obtained our first passive of the game, let's get a password. Hear the word of the gods. Don't forget it. Lima, uniform, lucky, uniform, victor, kilo, foxtrot, question. Solo, alpha, alpha, bravo, eagle, november, question. India, delta, lima, victor, x-ray, november, beta, lima, delta, delta, india. I know of a strange flask. You could take nectar with you. What's this? A flask that holds liquid? What lunacy is this? What will they come up with next? You know what, screw it. <laughs> I'll let you have something nice in exchange for 50 olives. Here, eat this. It'll give you strength. <laughs> what? Do you still want something? I only wanted to thank you for this awesome gift because, uh, yeah, quite amazing. If you go see Hephaestus in fear, he'll give you a sword. Sounds cool. Xenos, you found me. I was captured by Cyclops in Peliponesus and forced back into this cave. Here is a fragment of love and a letter from Irina. Follow Edie's servant to Laconia. God, please help us sinful children of Ivelisse. Princess Avelia, let's go. Just a moment, Agrius. The guards have already arrived. Princess, don't give Agrius trouble. Please hurry. What's going on? It's been nearly an hour. Don't be rude to the Princess Gathgarian. Is this going to be all right, Agrius? This is an urgent issue for us. So, there are rude knaves even among the Hukutan. I'm being more than kind to the guard captains here. Besides, we're mercenaries hired by the Hukutan. I'm not obliged to show respect to you. What? How dare you! Enough. Let's go. Go with God. You too, Simon. <gasps> Steady now. Lady Agrius, the enemy. Last arrow, please, Lord, don't let this one miss. Should I have gone with Delton? I got scared of what Tessa would have done to us if I did. And well, Delton got his hands cut off and killed for it. Not sure if Tessa was mad for him running away or stealing her gold. I mean, I did not be off and I'd be alive. 
Sometimes I wonder if a quick death would have been better than trying to survive here in hell. Well, the soldiers left. Unbelievable. The subject was exposed to a gas intended to anaesthetize it for examination. However, upon retrieval, the subject was discovered to be feigning sleep and attacked. It managed to kill all but three of my colleagues and fled through a portal. With the specimen lost, the soldiers have withdrawn, leaving my fellow scientists defenseless. I'm going to try to get Oscar's reports out of his office. Your Majesty! Kane! Kane, what are you doing? How dare you barge in here like this? Majesty, I petition on Cecil's behalf. Please reconsider. He has done no wrong. He questions out of care for his subordinates. I'm sorry about that, Kane. You shouldn't have to suffer for my mistake. Ah, I would have come with you anyway, buddy. Slaying monsters is right up my alley. Anyway... The king will relax as soon as we finish his mission of contrition. We are his favorites. Hmm. I'm sure you're tired after going all the way to Nisidia. Get some rest. We can leave for Mist Valley tomorrow. Sure, Kane. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, Dark Knight. Morning, Dark Knight. Kane. Are you ready for some real combat, Flyboy? Always. Lead the way. You just try to keep up. <laughs> My daughter. I'm sorry this had to happen to you. You were the least deserving of the way he treated you. The way he killed you. It should have been me taking it, not you. But I now know that there are true heroes in this world. And your hero helped you be at peace. I came to realize that your hero has the potential to be my hero too. He can save both of us, Astrid. And I won't hesitate to find him. Mark, wait for me. You arrive without cargo or letter. State your business. My ship was captured. Please, I mean no harm. You'll be escorted to the barracks. Then we'll decide what to do with you. Thank you, miss. Present yourself, Pandaren. My name is Hui Sheng. Six weeks ago, I was a monk from the Dead Forest. I embarked on an adventure through the Eastern Kingdoms to experience this world before I grow too old. Words of other bellmen have reached my ears. Apparently the stories of Pandaria are all true. He's one of them. Can they be trusted? Difficult to tell. They're soft and covered in fur, but they can kill. Just like everyone else. They say we give them something of little note so we can test its loyalty. You arrived here with nothing but your clothes and a frying pan. Did you not, Visheng? A sign from the Titans themselves. Let them cook in this very tavern, a peaceful job. I'm sure you'd like something less stressful, wouldn't you, Wai Sheng? Actually, I... It is settled. This Sheng will cook in the kitchen until we find a more suitable task for him. 
council disbanded.